Johnny is casting Dreamhack Valencia this weekend, 5th to 7th of July. If you want to watch go to twitch.tv slash Dreamhack Rocket League. Follow Johnny on Twitter to see what else he gets up to in Spain. Alright, final day. Vitality versus Complexity. I think after we saw Vitality recently, I have to go complex or have to go for Vitality here. I just uh, didn't listen to what you were saying though, by the way. I'm like, oh, thanks for the information, then I didn't do it. Um, NRG over Rogue. Probably gonna have to go for that. Um, so another NRG versus Vitality predicted. Everybody predicts this to happen, it lands, and it does happen, but earlier than people expect it to. Because <laughs> one of them loses earlier in the tournament. Okay, Clyde 9 probably over PSG. Um, and then G2 Barcelona. I think on EU soil, Barcelona have the edge. Um, until um, going over to Worlds, they did look pretty good. They probably give Barcelona the edge here. I've got the top four seeds. I feel like I'm always predicting Vitality, Energy, Cloud9, Barcelona into every single land. So that's like, uh, I can't really say sorry for that. Um, Cloud9, Barca. This is a tough one. Who do you guys have Cloud9 Barca? Who you got? You guys are all thinking Barca are going to play like they did at Worlds, but I don't know if they are. Yeah, I think G2 are going to look okay at this line. I think they're going to look pretty good. I don't think they're going to be as good as they were at Worlds. Um, but I think they're going to be solid. And I'm expecting Barcelona to be better than they were at Worlds. Um, back to more Dreamhack Leipzig Barcelona probably, because... We've had a couple of NA lands in a row, Dallas and uh, RLCS, both in North America. Now we're back in Europe, and European teams in general do pretty well in uh, in uh, EU lands. Yeah, home soil. That's the reason I'm giving it to Barcelona. If this was an NA, I'd give it to G2 in a heartbeat, in a snap. But yeah, Cloud9 are they're, uh, a much harder team to give this uh, to Barcelona against. Much harder. In this particular matchup, um, these two did play at DreamHack Leipzig the last time they played in Europe. Barcelona won it pretty handily, um, but since then they played. Did they play? Did they play against since then? It's in it's in Spain. Barcelona won a lot of sport. Yeah, of course. RLCS C913. Oh yeah, didn't yeah they did didn't they? Did they? Yeah they did. It was it was just a, it was just a sweep in quarterfinals, right? I'm not making that up, am I? Um, but yeah, this is home soil. It's going to be so different, in my opinion. See, I had um, NRG beating Barcelona um, earlier because I think, you know, Hello, Fireburner Jonathan. is going to, or Fireburner reti I, retiring soon is going to make them play in so much better. The butterfly and moving it's going to be like, yeah, let's just house. go over the bank. Sorry, you had to find out this way. Also, www. Mercury, please, extra five months prime. Also, Ginger, Apocalypse, thanks to the tier one sub. I appreciate that. I think of this for this one, I have to go Claude 9, though, against Barcelona. This new information, somebody saying that G2 haven't been scrimming, uh, makes me think Barcelona are probably going to beat them on home soil. But yeah, Barcelona, Claude 9. This has looked in Barcelona in Claude 9's favor recently. Um, so I'm going to go for them. Um, they. They looked pretty, like, Cloud9 didn't look bad at Leipzig, so. They're, they're like, just consistent. They always seem to do well. Um, and then, okay. Got NRG versus Vitality again. You probably, I think, have to go for Vitality after what you saw last time. I'd love to predict an NRG win in Fireburner's last land, but after what NRG did to, or what Vitality did to NRG the last time they played, I think you just have to go for them again. And then, of course, NRG, Cloud9, I think you just have to give that one to... To uh, Vitality, or, uh, Vitality against Cloud9, I think you have to give that to Vitality as well. Um, so that's, I think, what it's likely, how this is likely to unfold. Uh, but I want to do one more thing before we're done with this. I want to do one more thing. I'm going to go through here, and every upset that I think is possible, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it happen. Do a clean, fresh start. Predicting all the upsets. Okay. Nah, that's not possible. Grand Zero Gaming could upset here. Mount Gang could upset here. That's not possible. Okay, that's that's the, those games are done. Sorry, Lost Potatoes, not possible. Renegades, yep, it's possible. Crazy Crew, yep, yeah, they could definitely upset Triple Trouble, to be fair. They could definitely upset Triple Trouble. Let's go for it. Childish Gam Bim Bam. Could Childish Gam Bim Bam upset PSG? Tadafris and B Peak. Hmm. 
Is it possible? I don't think it's possible. I don't think so. Actually, you know what? Yes, it is. We're going to be a little bit more lenient here. Like, Lost Potato, Bremen, and Notorious Legion. I think they're just a little bit... They're not even bubble level. They're below bubble. But Childish Gang, Bim Bam, Crazy Crew, Mike Gang, they're all on the bubble. So, they're yes, they can absolutely upset. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so we've got Childish Gang, Bim Bam versus Crazy Crew for day two. And I, I'm going to give it to Childish Gang, Bim Bam because they've got the better name. Renegades versus Cloud9. I don't think it's even possible that Renegades could upset this, so I think we have to go for no here. Vitality versus Grand Zero Gaming. Again, doesn't look possible. Um, if it's remotely possible, we're, we're predicting it to happen. That's what the purpose of this is. Team Solo mid over Mount Gang. Yes, that is definitely possible that Mount Gang could win this. Bam. We've got Childish Gang, Bim Bam, and Mount Gang in day three. I love it. Uh, then we would have Bremen versus Splice over here. Let's just uh, skip writing in these team names. Could Bremen upset Splice? Probably not. So Splice would advance on here. Uh, Complexity versus Notorious Legion would be this matchup. Could Notorious Legion upset Complexity? Probably not. So I'll just go for that. Complexity Ga. Um, then it would be Team Solo mid here. Could Splice upset Team Solo mid? Absolutely. That could happen. Could Grand Zero Gaming upset Complexity? I'm going to call that... Um, a gr uh, um, I'm going to call that, um, what do you call it? An upset if Grand Zero Gaming beat Complexity. What do you guys think? Could they do it? Could Grand Zero Gaming upset Complexity? We had them upsetting Splice. I don't think it's possible. I think this is too one-sided. I think it has to be a no. It's not even remotely possible. So Complexity move on. Sorry, Grand Zero Gaming. We, you beat Splice, but you still lost. And Splice went through. Haha. -ha. <laughs> That's You got the wrong side of the bracket, guys. I think if I had Grand Zero Gaming versus Team Solo Mid, I would have put them through. I think that upset's possible because Team Solo Mid have tilted so badly in the past that it could happen. Uh, right, so Cloud9 over Renegades would mean Renegades would appear here. Oops. I can't spell Renegades. Uh, and then Crazy Crew would appear here. So then Lost Potato versus Veloce. I don't think it's possible that um, that Lost Potato win that. So uh, even even if we're trying to go for upsets, you have to go for Veloce here. Triple Trouble over PSG. What even is the upset? Who's the expected winner here? Because of course there can be an upset, but who's supposed to win that one? I don't even know. I guess PSG are supposed to win it, so therefore Triple hey, Trouble Johnny, how could do upset you them. About that? <laughs> PSG looked better at Worlds, I would say. Uh, they go back and forth online. Yeah, I'll, I'll put Triple Trouble through here. Then, okay, could Crazy Crew upset Veloce? For sure, that could happen. Could Renegades upset Triple Trouble? Huh. That's a question. If Grand Zero Gaming can't upset Complexity, can Renegades upset Triple Trouble? I think yes, they probably can, because Triple Trouble have bombed out of a dream hack in the past. So, Team Solo Mid and Triple Trouble have both bombed out of dream hack in the past, so yes, they could. Uh, this upset is definitely possible. Uh, obviously, any upset's possible, but we're trying to, you know, be somewhere in the middle here. Oh, by the way, I just realized Ginger Apocalypse uh, donated another sub to uh, to Joy Verdurd. Welcome, dude. And Sud, so thanks for 500 bits, man. I appreciate that. All right. Can G2 up, be, be upset here? Probably not. Can Method upset Ghost? Yes, they can. Uh, can Aeriality upset the Bricks? 100% yes. <laughs> yes, they can. Uh, can Helios upset Barcelona? I don't think so. Okay, so that's what this one would look like with upsets. Then could Ariality upset Barcelona? Yeah, probably. <laughs> could Method upset G2? Yeah, probably. Okay, that was a lot more upsets than the first round. So we've got Ariality and Method going through. G2 are in the losers. And so are FC Barcelona. I like this bracket. We should do all of them like this. Um, then HI5 Gaming and Ghost Gaming would be here. I don't think HI5 can upset Ghost, so it would be Ghost going through. Bricks versus Helios at the bottom. I don't think that Bricks could be upset here, so they would go through. Now, could the Bricks upset G2? 100%, yes. Could Ghost upset Barcelona? 100%, yes. That was so many more upsets in Group C, holy cow. All right, last one. I don't think NRG could possibly be upset here. Servette are, um, where are they? Murderwing, Zafir, and Vert. They're just not quite at the level where you can predict upsets on. Can Chiefs upset the Randy Gibbons River Rats? 100%. Yes, they can. On to the next round for the Chiefs Esports. I love it. Dignitas against Phil. Who is Phil again? 
Uh, here they are. Pondix, Calyx, Ocelon. Okay, yeah, they could upset Dignitas. That could be an upset. How embarrassing would that be for Dig? Lose Turbo and lose to Brown 1. Uh, Espanol over Rogue. Okay. Do you guys think Espanol can upset Rogue, Mr. Yub, Zamu, and Stake? I, I think yes. And I'll tell you why. Because Spanish ball chasers. Maybe Rogue aren't ready for the Spanish ball chasing. And that is why RCD can upset Rogue. Boom. That is undeniable logic. NRG, could they be upset by Chiefs? Yep, it's almost happened every other time they played LAN. They almost lose to <laughs> someone they're not supposed to lose to. Phil against R RCD Espanol. I don't even know what the upset would be here. I guess the Spanish team going through is an upset, so we'll give it to them. Um, <laughs> then Phil lose, so they go here. And NRG lose, so they go here. Meanwhile, Servette against Randy Gibbons River Rats. Can Servette upset the, the River Rats? Probably not. I don't think so. So it would be Randy Gibbons here. Um, then Dignitas against Espanol. No, I forgot to change the color of this. It's actually Dignitas versus Rogue. Do we call Dignitas beating Rogue an upset? What is wh Who is supposed to win this? Are Rogue supposed to win that now? I guess Rogue are supposed to win that. So Dignitas, yes, of course they can win. Therefore they do. And can they also beat NRG? Yeah, they probably can. Dignitas advance. Phil against Randy Gibbons River Rats. I think Phil are the upsetting team here. So yes, they could they could actually do that. So yeah, Phil are three as well. Look at that team. Look at that day three. We've got Chiefs, RCDEs, Espanol, Phil, and uh, Dignitas going through. Wow. Now that is a day three I want to see. Or day two I want to see. There we go. Now that is a much more exciting bracket. Look at this. Just wonderful. Okay, can Renegades upset Vitality? I don't think that that's within the realms of possibility based on what we just saw recently. Unless, are we gonna like, consider how bad Vitality have played at previous dream hacks and how badly they looked at the start of RLCS land? Because if so, I think, nah, even then, they still, even though they looked bad on day one of RLCS, they still smashed Grand Zero Gaming. So I think this is not even, you can't even call this possible. You can't even call it possible. They weren't that bad. Um, so I think Red of Vitality have to move on here. Um, can Childish Gam Bim Bam upset Splice? You bet they can. Childish Gam Bim Bam winning this. <laughs> this whole lad. Wow, I can't believe I've already Childish Gam Bim Bam are going here. That is uh, Tadaf Fries and B Peak, by the way. Alright, Chiefs. Can Chiefs upset the Bricks? And I will call it an upset if Chiefs beat the Bricks. Yes, they can. You should already know by now. The answer to that question is almost always yes. Now, can Phil... Wait, who who's even supposed to win this? Ariality versus Phil. Pondix, Calyx, and Ocelon versus Tylacto, Ixo, and Sebadam. I don't even know who's supposed to win this. <laughs> are, are Ariality supposed to win this? Just because they've been together longer? I suppose so. Therefore, Phil will win it. I think Ariality are probably supposed to win that, They're, therefore we're going to predict Phil to win it. Okay, that's that group done. Uh, well, round one done. So I don't think Childish Gam Bim Bam have what it takes to beat Vitality, even if we're predicting upsets. So they are going to lose that one and move down here. Um, but yeah, do Phil have what it takes to upset Chiefs? Yes. <laughs> Yes, they do. Goodbye, Chiefs. Into lower brackets with you. Um, right, then we would have Renegades versus Splice down here. Um, what even is the upset in that one? Who's supposed to win Renegades versus Splice? Who's supposed to win that? I would say Splice are supposed to win that. Therefore, you think Renegades is supposed to win? Are they, though? They've looked so bad recently. I don't know if they are. I don't know if they are supposed to win that. <laughs> um, I suppose you're right. Renegades should win. Therefore, Splice will win. And then Ariality versus Bricks. The Bricks are supposed to win. Therefore, Ariality will. Um, then Childish Gam Bim Bam versus Ariality. Ariality are supposed to win. Therefore, Childish Gam Bim Bam will. These are close enough matchups that, you know, Do upsets you like could occur. Do you like it when there are lands because you get a monopoly on Rocket League streaming smile? 
I do? I didn't know. <laughs> I like lands because I, you know, get to watch lands. But hey, it's nice if, uh, you know, this, the chat is more active. So it is pretty cool. Cheers for three quid, by the way, Donut Oil. Right. Splice versus Chiefs. I guess Splice are the underdog here. So therefore, we'll predict them to get that. I suppose. Would you guys say that Chiefs are supposed to beat Splice? Splice are an NAR LCS team. So... I don't know if they are supposed to lose this. I suppose Chiefs are supposed to win that, therefore we'll predict Splice to win it. Cloud9 against Complexity. Could Complexity upset Cloud9? I think, yeah, I think you have to say yes on that one. They, that could happen. No, I, I think Cloud9 are likely to win, but yeah, upset is possible. Mount Gang versus Crazy Crew. Oh my goodness, who's supposed to win that? Mount Extra and Itachi versus Godzilla, Wilson, the Moon, and Sieb. I think Mount Gang are supposed to win, but that's still... <laughs> a matchup where an upset could happen, so I guess Crazy Crew move on. Method, Dignitas. Well, Dignitas are supposed to win, but I could see an upset happening, so Method move on. B uh, Spanish ball chasing defeats Ghost Gaming. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, look how, look how this develops, guys. <laughs> All right, Complexity over Crazy Crew. Do Crazy Crew have what it takes to beat Complexity? I think you have to, you have to go with no on that one. Let the Mount Gang through. No, but Mount Gang are the favorites. That's why they lose. Because we're predicting all the upsets. All the upsets that are remotely feasible, we're predicting them all. Um, is Crazy Crew upsetting Complexity even remotely feasible? I think you have to go with a no on that one. Surely that would be just the world. That would be an unbelievably bad prediction. So I think you have to go Complexity here. Uh, method over Espanol though. Espanol move on. They're just upsetting everybody because ball chasing is the perfect way to upset people. <laughs> method, we're not ready for the ball chasing. Right, crazy crew would move down here. Then it would be Cloud9 versus Mount Gang in the lower bracket. Can Mount Gang upset Cloud9? Yes or no, guys? Yes or no? Can Mount Gang upset Cloud9? Complexity just upset them right now. A lot of no's in chat, a lot of Cloud9 fanboys in chat. You're all filthy, of course Mount Gang can upset Cloud9. What are you talking about? That's the easiest yes ever. Mount Gang, eliminate Cloud9 from Dream Mac Valencia. Goodbye, C9. Alright, Dignitas versus Ghost Gaming. Uh, I suppose the upset there would be Ghost Gaming winning, but so yeah, it's possible. Ghost Gaming win. Um... Crazy Crew, Godzilla, Wilson the Moon, and Sieb against Ghost Gaming. Could that happen? Yeah, it could. <laughs> Ghost lost to Team Echo Zulu in Dreamhack before, so I guess they could lose this. Uh, Method against Mount Gang. Could Mount Gang upset Method? Oh, you bet they can. Mount Gang, move on. Look at that day three. We've got Splice, Childish Gam, Bim Bam, Crazy Crew, Mount Gang, Espanol, Phil, and two teams who are actually supposed to be there. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is the best way to do the bracket predictions. Right, how does this uh, actually fill itself out now? So, yeah, uh, Randy Gibbs River Rats have both an A and a U. They have Turbo Pulse playing with uh, Corrupted Gene Classics. Okay, can Crazy Crew realistically upset Vitality? I think you have to go for a no on that one. I mean, we had Crazy Crew upsetting Ghost Gaming. That's definitely possible. We didn't have them upset in Complexity. If you don't have them upset in Complexity, I don't think you can have them upset in Vitality. Vitality will move on here. Um, Phil over Mount Gang. Who is even supposed to win this? Who's supposed to win Phil versus Mount Gang? <laughs> I think Phil are supposed to win that because they've made it to day two of a dream hack before. So I suppose they're supposed to win. And that's why they don't. Mount Gang advance. Right, we have Complexity versus Childish Gam Bim Bam. Do Childish Gam Bim Bam. Did Afris and B Peak have what it takes to beat Complexity? Is that upset possible? I think you have to go for no on that one. I think it is just too much of a gap. Um, it's just too unlikely, so complexity move on. Right, Espanol versus Splice. Will Spanish ball chasing upset yet another team? Chat, yes or no? Will it upset them? Of course the answer is yes. Our <laughs> RCD Espanol, what does RCD actually mean? I don't know what this means. Does it tell you? RCD Espanol. Nope, it doesn't say anywhere in their page. Okay, 
So there's your there's your uh, semi-finals: Reign of Vitality versus Mount Gang and Complexity Gaming versus RCD Espanol. The the last NA team in the tournament splice have already have been eliminated in the quarter. I just realized only one in in the upset <laughs> version of this, since it's an EU event, only one American team made it to the quarters. All right, can Mount Gang upset Vitality? Chat, yes or no? Can they upset Vitality? I think we all know the answer. I think we all know the answer. Of course they can. Can you imagine how nervous Scrub Kill is going to be if he has to get up on stage in the semi-final against Mout? He's going to be trembling. He's not even going to be able to hold his controller. Vitality, you're going to be playing 2v3. They're, they're playing 2v3 practically half the time anyway. Baguette's OP. Um, and by the way, Mout Gang also have two baguettes. So it's an even matchup in terms of you know, who has more French people? Um, so yeah, Mount Gang have made it into the final. Complexity Gaming versus RCD Espanol. I ask you guys the question yet again. Can Spanish ball chasing upset complexity? Can they upset complexity with Spanish ball chasing? I think you all you already know. It is a resounding yes. So this is in, in, the, in the world of upsets, Spanish ball chasing is king. So we have RCD Espanol versus Mout Gang in the grand final. Who's supposed to win that? I think the team that is supposed to win that is Mout Extra and Itachi. Against Mr. Yub, Zamyu, and Steak. And therefore, we have to ask ourselves a very important question, guys. Can Spanish Ball Chasing <laughs> upset Mout Gang? Yes or no? What is the answer? No, not possible, no. <laughs> oh, you guys want my gang to win so badly. I know this list has been a bit of a meme, but there has been a method to it. And that is why RCD Espanol will defeat my gang in the final, crushing the hopes and dreams of thousands of fans across the world. But that's just how the upset bracket works, guys. The upset bracket doesn't care about your feelings. You're supposed to feel bad. I know, it feels bad. Mike Gang, it looked like they were going to make it all the way. Upsets from start to finish. But Spanish ball chasing is the king of upsets. It's just the way it is. Like, if, if you're always predicting for the underdog and there's a Spanish team in there, they're probably going to win. <laughs> it's always possible. So there you have it, folks. The true DreamHack predictions. Um... I guess if I'm going to fill in the teams, it would. Be, this is what would have happened. Um, just imagine if it ends up looking anything like this. What a land that would be. What a land that would be. Mount Gang versus RCD Espanol in the grand final. Can you imagine the scenes? Cloud9, G2, and NRG all out before day three. There would be so much salt. You would literally be able to walk across the Atlantic Ocean. Like, all the tears that would be cried into the... Uh, into the Atlantic as the NA teams fly home. Right, which teams do we have winning here? This one, 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 this one. Wait, this one, uh, this one. Okay, there we go. There we go. We filled out the bracket, guys, so you can get all of your. Uh, delete that row. We'll delete this row as well. Can we get it all in one screen somehow? Maybe if I put this over here. Um, I'll put this here. Delete this row. Um. I'll tell you what I could do. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's also not what I meant to do. There we go. We're just going to make this a little bit more efficient so we can fit in more stuff on one screen. Delete these rows. Oh, we're almost there. We just need a little bit more efficiency. How can we be more efficient here? I guess we put all of this here. We put all of this... 
up as well. Oh, I've totally beamed it. Uh, no, that's wrong. I just want to have all of this on one screen. Oh, it's so close. This is so annoying. Why can't it be closer? I know how to do it. There we go. This is how we're going to do it. There we go. Um, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that was going to happen. There we go. So if I delete this, bam, there we go. It's all in one screen. Killed it. There we go. So there you have it, folks. The true results of the dream hack. I suppose you could even make it a bit more efficient here. We could move this up. Oh, actually, I've done it wrong. Move this up. Yeah, that's still legible. Move these guys up here. Oh, there we go. That looks nicer. Bam. Nailed it. Perfect. So, yeah. If I do turn out to be right on this, <laughs> I want to get some mad props. Ta-da. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Can you imagine the scenes? Why did this take so long? Because we had to do it twice. We did the real, like, boring predictions that are probably accurate. And then we did the ones that are a lot more fun and that we hope are going to happen. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. See, what I should have done is this. Let's leave a tiny little gap here. 